Hi there! In this video, we are going to look at how to use dimensions by posting a journal with dimensional tags. Then review the ways we can report the dimensional data within Financials for Office 365. If you are unfamiliar with dimensional tagging and the concept of dimensions, please watch the introduction to dimensions from the link in the description. We also have a video on how to set up dimensions, which you can also find in the description. First, we will post the journal and review the dimensions against the transaction. Let's open the general journal and open the default batch. Let's post the transaction accounting for the cleaning expenses at our New Zealand office. We have just entered the account type and the account number first. I can put this transaction against a customer or vendor and we can see their default dimensions auto populate. Today, it will be against the bank account NAB. We tag the department, the area code, created in our earlier video, how to set up dimensions. I can preview the posting to preview the GL entries about to occur. And the test report to preview the posting and view the reconciliation. Now, I can post a transaction like so. It's that easy. In our earlier video, Introduction to Dimensional Tagging, we ran a quick analysis to see our GL balance of the operating expenses by department. If we drill down now, we can even see the entry we just posted to the cleaning account. This is an example of one level of dimensional reporting. The power we have with dimensions for reporting is that we can filter all standard reports by our global dimensions. By using dimensions, you can analyze trends and compare various characteristics across a range of entries. The analysis view functionality is particularly effective for this purpose. But you can also use filters, account schedules and reports to create informative dimensional analysis. By reporting by analysis view, we can produce reports referring to four different dimensions at one time. Let's view our customer group by lines. Then bring it by period and area. We can even change this to sales campaign. And lastly, area by salesperson. This is only a taste of the reporting capabilities you have now, being able to slice and dice your data at will with little to no manual entry. Dimensional reporting can be extended even further with our free add-in enhanced reporting options. To find out more, visit our website, ask your financials partner, or even your sales associate from Financials for Office 365. If you have any questions while using Financials for Office 365, you can click on a question mark for a Windows-specific help page. If you want help with a field, click on the caption. Or, for a column, click on the heading and select Help, like so. And that is how you can use dimensions within Financials for Office 365. 